So here we are back in the shop. I'm planning on doing a copper melt here this morning. I need to build up my copper stack as it's the, the lowest amount of metals that I do have. Uh, I've got more aluminum than anything and less brass and less copper and less silver. So uh, let's see what happens here as we uh, fire up this foundry and get ready to pour. Morning YouTube, this is Chuck Gentles. I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, what we're going to do today, I'm going to may do a copper melt, but what you're seeing here is some of the aluminum that I have uh, melted in the past and I'm trying to get enough different metals where I can do some sand casting and uh, I'm pretty much there on the aluminum. I think I've got about 20 pounds of aluminum here. And if you look over here at the brass, uh, I believe that's like three pounds or four pounds of brass. A little light on the copper, and that's what I'll probably melt today. That copper is, uh, that's about uh, 20 ounces there, which isn't good. But, uh, and here I've got silver. I think there's about two ounces of silver here, which that isn't worth... Uh, going after either other from maybe one little pour and uh, so anyhow that's what I'm going to do that's why I, I show some of my melts and this is you know all the associated junk the flask I've got a the square flask I've got a round flask here and there uh, this things that uh, will help me help me cast once I uh, get going and get the metal I just kind of run out of time for all this stuff because it's been raining for like four days here in Arizona, northern Arizona and uh, water's running into creeks so we're going to have to give this up for a while probably after maybe one or two videos and then I get back into it this winter because while the water's here we got to work so I'll be back so it's really humid today so what we're going to do is I'm going to heat these molds up uh, even before I start melting and then reheat them just before I pour. Just because we've had rain for, like I said before, for uh, three, four days in a row and lots of rain and all our creeks are running and it's really, really, really humid. You know, we're running 70, 80% for Arizona, which is really high. So just to protect these molds, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll get started here in a little bit. Okay, that should be that for the time being. And uh, let's see, get this out of the way here. So we're going to fire up the old foundry here, the electric guy. It's just not a big deal, but uh, it needs to be done. Let's see where we're set. Set at pretty close to where I need it to be. So we'll be back when we uh, get this fired up. So while this is heating up, I think I'll put these in. This is what we're doing. This is inch and a half pipe, copper pipe. I've not melted this in this yet, so we're going to give this a go before this gets hot and let it heat up with a couple of these in it just to see what's going to happen. So there that is. Now we got about a 20 minute wait, so I'm going to turn this off so you don't get too bored because I don't sing well. This is the electric foundry. I really like it and uh, it works good for just about anything you want to melt. I don't melt steel in it obviously, but uh, my copper's uh, I believe about uh, 1083. I'm at about 1100 degrees C and, uh, and we've only been on for what? 
about 10 minutes. So we'll uh, keep letting her go until we get up to the magic mark and then go past that a little bit and that way we can pour without having too many problems, I hope. Alright, so we're about uh, a little over halfway in. It's been about a half hour now. Uh, if things go well, we might be able to get this and I've got some more over here. If you look, well, here's the bucket with this is a, I don't know if it's a two or two and a half gallon bucket. It's uh, over half full. And we got this over here. We've got some wire, and there's wire in the bucket. There's some more pipe here also. So this is, uh, supposedly what I've been told anyhow, is this machine is only supposed to run for a max of three hours. And I guess it overheats or something. So we'll see where we're at. Uh, we're not even 700 degrees C yet and we're about 35 minutes in so I'll be back. I'm having second thoughts about using this inch and a half pipe in the electric foundry. A uh, couple reasons. I think it's too large to get a, a quick melt on it and if you look inside it isn't perfectly clean. You can see inside here that uh, there's some debris in it, some buildups. This was uh, in service at one time, and so it's dirty inside. So my thought is, as uh, soon as we're back up to uh, 1100, I'm not going to use this. Now these are fairly clean. Uh, this one over here isn't that much, but I think I'm going to go back and uh, do wire in this, and then we'll take the pipe and put the pipe in the uh, gas foundry. I think it's just uh, more of a beast than this one is. This is good for gold and silver and copper but uh, I think smaller and even I might even try cutting the, the copper pipe into smaller pieces. Maybe that would help too but uh, at this point it's taken way too long. Um, I'm right at almost an hour right now and uh, um, I haven't even done the first pour in it yet so uh, we'll keep watching and see what happens. Guys, I'm going to try to give you an overhead shot here. We're right at copper melt temperature of 1,083. I'm going to see what the pipe looks like in here. Without melting the camera. And that's about as good as I can get, I guess. And you can see it's not quite melted in there yet. It's just, you can see the edge of the pipe. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with wire instead of pipe. Guys, I'm going to try to instigate a little bit more melt here. We're going to use this stranded wire that's much finer. So we'll use that to try to get this going a little bit more. So I have something to pour today. I'm in well over an hour now. So we'll... Try to do it this way. Get this in here. It is getting hot. See, that's about all it'll take is one little piece there too. So maybe that'll that maybe that'll help the uh, the copper pipe that's in there and help it melt a little bit. See, we dropped down. We're at uh, what are we at here? 1,068 centigrade. So we dropped about 20 degrees. This open in the lid, so okay. When I get ready to pour, I'll turn it back on. Okay guys, I'm going to speed this up because it's been an hour and a half now and it's starting to melt fairly good. Uh, not good enough to melt the pipe uh, in a timely fashion because I'm an hour and a half in and at three hours they want you to shut it down. So we're going to do a pour right now. I'm going to pour this bigger mold. I just heated it. You don't need to see me heat the thing again. But 
going to do that a little bit bigger. I don't want that, that one. It's too big. So we're going to give this a go here. She is hot. Ooh. I have a tendency to go too quick when I get some of the little ones. But anyhow, the big one looks pretty good. Um, the other was kind of a disaster, but uh, we got two things that look like it might be copper. That one I know is copper. Don't know why these are so dark. Tell yeah, that's copper there, as is that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that was the pour. Uh, I got one bar out of that. That was about 14 and a quarter ounces, I believe, of copper wire. And the stranded wire really helped it accelerate so the uh, next copper we do will be in the big foundry and uh, it'll just be quicker and nicer I hope thanks for watching give us a thumbs up share and subscribe I'll be back again well, there you go uh, one uh, about a 13 and a half ounce bar and two little bars with a spill in between them so eh, it'll be okay once they're cleaned up and I might show that here in a little bit Okay, got the scale zeroed. Let's see if these remain what I had them. Uh, that one's 0.6 ounce. That's the part of the spill. This one's also 0.6. And the big one is 11.4 ounces. Very nice. This one came out really good. Happy with that. These other twos are, that's a tough mold to get in without spilling. So, and it was, the crucible was cooling on me. So, anyhow, yeah, I consider this a success. These little ones can be used to make a pour. Uh, and I've got some other, other two ounces that we can use. So, that's it for me. Thank you for watching.